Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to set up uh, your VLAN on your PF sandbox. Uh, so first, what we need to do is to go to the interfaces, assignments, and then we're going to go to VLANs. So we are going to create our VLAN. Uh, first, we have to choose our parent interface, which is what going to be LAN, of course. Uh, we're setting up the VLAN tag. Uh, which is basically the VLAN ID. So we are going to do it 20. Uh, VLAN priority, you can do this, but if you're going to have one or two VLANs and if it's for the home lab, there is no, not much sense. Uh, this stuff is for the QoS uh, and we are not going, to, not going to talk about that in this video. So we're going to put a description in it. Let's say it's going to be for my business laptop. Click save. There we go. We created a VLAN. So now we go back to the interface, uh, interface assignments. We're going to be available network ports. We're going to choose our newly created VLAN and we're going to click on add. And you're going to see is a VLAN that you created with a VLAN ID that we put and it's attached to the BGA1 uh, NIC network interface or the port on your uh, uh, router. So now we're going to the to enable this VLAN. We're going to change the description into the let's do it laptop again. Uh, IPv4 configuration type is going to be static IPv4. IP address, we're going to put 10, there we go, 10.10.1.1, and we're going to put a subnet of 24 bits, and we're going to click save. Apply changes. And now, when this is finished and it's finished now. Uh, we need to go and set up the uh, DHCP scope for this uh, VLAN. So we, we call it laptop. So we're going to click on this and enable. And we're going to put the scope range from dot one to dot one hundred. That is going to be plenty more than I need because I'm going to use it only for one device but let's have a hundred addresses available and click save so when we set up this uh, DHCP server scope now next step is to go to the firewall and to go to the rules so by default we don't have any rules added uh, and by default, in a PF sense, firewall, uh, all traffic is blocked if there is no rule which is going to uh, tell us opposite. So, the first rule we always, in a firewall, we are always going to make the all pass rule, which means that we are going to allow all traffic on this uh, on this network interface uh, and after that if we have to block something we're going to do it with the other rules and uh, usually we're going to block one by one thing and we are going to disable whatever we want or to block any traffic that we want for a specific interface so action is pass interface we choose the newly created the vlan and then for the protocol uh, by default is tcp and we are going to choose any and we are going to put a description allow all and click save so i'm uh, saying again apply changes uh, if you need to block something uh, you can do it easily by adding a new rule which is going to block the specific traffic that you need to block so uh, this is it now. We have set up the, our VLAN on our PF Sense box. You can see it right here. 
Uh, now we have to go to the switch setup. Uh, so we are going to need a level 3 switch. You know that, I'm sure. Uh, and this uh, graphical user interface is going to probably is going to be different from this one, uh, but doesn't matter because the protocol is always the same. Uh, only these uh, graphics are going to be different, so you just need to dig it uh, and to find where uh, those settings are in your uh, switch. So first, what we have to do is to go to the ports and administration. Then we're going to go to setup. Uh, then we first we have to choose the trunk port. What is the trunk port? Trunk port is the port uh, which is connected to our router. So <clears throat> usually, most commonly, is going to be port one or port twenty four or the first or the last port. I like to put it on the last port, so I'm going to choose port twenty four, and I'm going to put the link type to the trunk and hit apply. Uh, so that's it. Now we're going to go to the VLAN. We're going to create a new LAN, VLAN. It's going to be 20. Create. We have it right here now. Modify VLAN. <coughs> so by default, every manageable L3 switch uh, has the default VLAN, which is VLAN 1, and that one cannot be changed. Uh, so we are going to choose, a, choose our VLAN 20. Uh, and as a tag port, we're going to add the trunk port because a uh, tag port can be only the trunk port or the hybrid ports. And we are going to hit apply. Now we are going to choose untagged port. Uh, and there is going to be access port, uh, which means uh, there's going to be port on a switch where we are going to connect our device, which will belong to this uh, VLAN. And in my case, it's going to be port number eight. And apply again. And we're going to go for the details. I'm going to choose our VLAN. And as you can see, it's success. So port 8 is going to be our device and uh, port 24 is our trunk port or a port which is connected to the router, which means that you can see by this that all these ports are not the members, which means that a uh, switch will know as soon as something is connected to the port 8, it will send all data directly to the port 24 uh, and all other ports or the traffic from the other ports cannot be mixed with this one. This one is going to be encapsulated, which will uh, give us this segmentation of the network, right? Or if we choose the VLAN 1, now you see uh, that the port 8 is not a member of the VLAN 1 now. So they are all, the blue ones, they are communicate with each other, uh, except with the port 8. Right? That was easy. All right, guys, that will be it for today. Uh, thank you for watching my video. If you liked it, hit the like button, share this video and subscribe, please. If you have any questions, please put it in a comment below and I will be more than happy to answer every one of you. Thank you and see you. Merry Christmas.